Okay. All righty, everybody, welcome in. It's Wednesday. You see the red felt, you know what that means. It's time for Red Felt Breaks. I'm your host, Lou Pellegrino, and joined, we'll start right here with the Black Jaded Wolf at Black Jaded Wolf on social media and on Twitter, Sharon Chung. How are you? Good. How is everything? Oh, everything's great. Thanks so much for being here again. She's the reason why I come in every Wednesday. It's not to Thanks. talk to this guy. It Thanks, Lou. <laughs> it's, it's not to talk to I this know, guy. It's the big Lahuna just left. I know, no, I no, it's not to talk to this guy. I've known him so long. I said that last week, and you know what? I'm getting kind of tired of this relationship. Oh, no. But anyway, he's here at Red Felt Breaks on social media, Greg Bynan, and we have more cards to open up today. What are we looking at today, ladies and gentlemen? We're looking at a lot of fun stuff. A lot of fun stuff. I and mean, this isn't something that you can just walk around the block and get at your local card store. Like we talked about last week, your local candy store. Oh, my God, yes. So we did the top silver packs last week. We only did two because we were really previewing the product. So we've gone out and we've acquired many of the packs. And how hard are they to acquire? So the thing about the top silver packs are um, um, you have to buy a box to get them. So as we talked about last week, you buy one box, box of, of Hobby. Gold you get one pack, one box of jumbo, you get two packs, provided the dealer you're buying them from is an honorable person. I got, these on, I got these on eBay, but don't tell anyone. So is that the way it works? So if you're buying from a dealer? With the silver packs, yes. That's the way Topps writes it in. Got it. So It's like a bonus. It's like it's your enticement to buy this product. So it's, it's almost like, and I'm trying to think back, when you would buy a toy and you would cut out the proof of purchase and then you would send it to the toy company and they would send you a you free... You actually a free, did that? Oh, absolutely. Wow, you're Star, a lot more patient than I, 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 I still have my Emperor and red Stormtrooper Star Wars figures. But really? That's what you used to do. That's, you a, used that's, to, a, that's a show for another day. We that's talk to Danny about another that. show, right, exactly. But okay, so you ended up getting those on eBay. What is so special about Well, this is the, like we talked about last week, the 35th anniversary um, commemorative look right you know there's a show of the, 80, of the 83 top 83 top yes. set great yes. uh, we talked about you know the thing we're really looking for obviously even though you know Shohei Otani and was that your was that your motion that he need, may need Tommy John Tommy surgery John. Yeah. like you know cast you know yeah he, he took ba I read that he was batting with one arm the other day. oh boy I mean they, if the angels you know screw this up I won't be surprised mm. it's very Someone's very that's not mine Oh, you can turn it off. It's okay. I think it's the. Isn't that the? Is that the, the big? Bl boss? That's is the that back your? phone. Yep, oh, that's the, the back phone. Jenner Wolf's back that's phone. It's probably someone. actually someone's... my uh, trade phone because uh -oh. there's trades going on tonight that I wasn't. You know, uh -oh. she's probably. <laughs> it's probably someone wanting to buy something from her it's on off. eBay. It's like off. an alert. Back phone is off. There we go. Sorry. So, but you know, there's also some autographs like we talked about. Like for me, I want the Don Mattingly autograph. Right, right, right. I mean, I'm not. You know, we don't have the full autograph checklist. Yeah. But There's the, some trouts also in there, which is hot right now. And obviously, uh, Ronald Acuna is in there. Right, they have All an, the big I, names. I'm, I'm looking, Ozzy Smith, Gary Sanchez, yep. Chris, Sh Chris Sale, Chipper Jones are just some that I've, I've seen online. Mm, exactly. Mm. And, you know, I, if, if you pull a Don Mattingly autograph card on this show, I'll do a what, jig right I was over just going to say, what I'll would do a it jig. be? What would it be? It would be the jig right He'll here. Scream. The pose down, ripping <laughs> oh, you, off the no, shirt. You'll, you'll hear me scream. I'll shatter the glass. Actually, I won't try the glass for the mat Mattingly. You'll get like, you know, like, <clears throat> you know. Right. Totally but get it. But you'll get something good. These these cards, these packs are a lot of fun. From what I've done in re as far as research goes, just looking at some of these, you know, the Chipper Jones card looks really cool. Would love to see a Chipper Jones love autograph. To see a Cal Ripken. A Cal an Ozzy Smith yeah. autograph. I, I card. think there's a Tony Gwynn in there. Wow, rookie really? Year. Yeah, I don't remember if he's Series 1 or Series 2, yeah. forgive me. Got it. But there was Gwyn, Boggs, and Sandberg. I know Sandberg was in Series 1, mm -hmm. but I think Boggs, you know, Tony it's a shame Gwyn it's in a Red Sox. Tony a little uh, harder since, you know, he has passed, so it might no, be No, but a, a card, even a card. Oh, I thought you meant I just, the Yeah, the but I mean, you know. right. well, yeah, but there's cut. Oh. I mean, there's Babe Ruth and products. We talked about oh, that no, last no. week. His is not cut yet. Mostly stickers, if they're remaining stickers, they would put it. Oh, so that's even better. Yeah, so sometimes they're actually rare because they don't put a lot yep. out there. I remember years ago, and this is going away from tops, but it still has baseball okay. cards. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Ritz? Crackers when they used to have the autographed baseball cards. We're talking about proofs of purchase again. If you bought a certain amount of Ritz crackers, you could send the proofs of purchase in, 
and you would be able to well, get I remember autographed good humor cards. Right, but you would be able to get autographed baseball cards, oh. and one of the cards, and I feel so bad for saying this, one of the cards they offered was Don Drysdale. This came out two weeks before he ultimately passed away, unfortunately, very early passing away. This stuff actually has stable. I mean, the, <laughs> and no, I was, no, no, I mean, not cheap. <laughs> right, but I was able to secure a Ritz Crackers card of Don Drysdale autographed so po- pos- posthumously. One. Yes, I did wow, get one. Oh, that's a good which was Do you pretty, still have it? I ha- it's somewhere at my parents' house, I, I guarantee mean, uh, We would love for you to bring it in on other you know shows. Next, next those time. are cool things, because I remember like they had the minor league team cards that were yep. always put out by a sponsor, whether it was good humor or like sure. can- all that. absolutely. You know, they, they Toys R Us had cards. Oh, yep. to- oh. Mm-hmm. I used to play cards with the CEO and... And founder of Toys R Us. He had a warehouse full of stuff that I would, most people would kill to get into. Well, I'm really excited to jump into these cards. So where should we start? Well, and hold on. We, 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 I was going to say, let's, 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 look at the, the right, let's, look at, let's look at the Bowman first because those are extremely rare. And I know you also went yeah, to a party last exactly. night that you want to talk about So the other well. thing we're doing today is we're opening up Bowman Mega Box packs. These packs come in a box like this. Very nice. Uh, I'm sorry. Those Bowman cards are the nuts. Bowman Mega Box. I'll, I'll open one up just to show yeah, everyone sure. in it while we talk about it before we get to the nitty gritty. I get so excited sometimes that I just like jump want, the gun. Hey, you, you know, open, you want you me want, to you're open excited. it? Oh. So the oh, thing about the Bowman, Bowman Mega Box, I know. want to do this nice and so I don't want to damage the packaging. I want to make sure that this comes off nice and easy. Yep. Like taking a Twinkie out of a wrapper, Greg. You I go. know you're familiar oh, you with just that. Made him open that, <laughs> not even open the whole box. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine with taking just the cellophane off. I'm fine. So I'm wait, fine. no, no. So with the with the we're we're gonna do the top silver first. Yeah. And these but just started the coming out again. May twenty third at Target, yeah. right? That's yeah. Right. This is the second Ex- year they've done the mega box. Target. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what, what? So you get it's it's seven packs total. Mm-hmm. So what you get is the two key mega packs mm-hmm. that we'll just put in this pile. I just wanna while you're doing that. So this came out in Target for twenty bucks. Wow. But they're like mostly sold out. They're going for mostly like 40, where? Forty-five dollars. What bucks. Target has them? I've been to several well, Targets looking for so them. So on you eBay, know, on somewhere the... in the Pittsburgh area that nobody goes to that Target, you possibly who goes to the Target in Harlem, in New York City that's collecting cards? I'm, I'm not. That's I'm just true. saying. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't see that as a. And they had a whole big wall. The one down in Tribeca you, didn't even have anything. There, there is a, there is a great system, I'm sure, because you have to look where there's a baseball card hotbed. And if you know the places where, okay, if I go to such and such neighborhood that I know is a predominantly lacrosse or basketball style neighborhood where, you know what, I may be able to pick up some Mm -hmm. baseball cards and some packs and some boxes. I mean, we used to do this with concert tickets. You could do, you used to, I remember calling Ticketmaster in Oklahoma. Mm Mm-hmm. And getting tickets for shows yep. in New oh, York that, City. Oh, Ticketmaster had the worst system ever. With the remember the bracelet? Sure, of course. Yeah. Oh my God, you slept outside to get a bracelet and didn't call the number. It was the worst. Right. I just, I, I can't wait to open up these cards. They look so. Yeah. They're every week. I've only done this twice, but this is you know something that I look forward to every week because one. You have so many young superstars in baseball that are making That's names for themselves actually. early. Mm-hmm. You know, you look at the Ronald Acuna's of the world. You look at the Shohei Otani's of the Ooh. world. Glaber Torres. You look at Glaber Torres, who's just tearing it up for the Yankees. And Juan it's, Soto. It's one of those. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! There's a good. There's a potential. There's potential to have a good rookie yeah. card in every pack that you open. Well, of my course. favorite is actually the Esteban Florial of the Yankees. Yeah. Potential number one prospect next year. Wow. And this is his first Bowman Chrome. Rookie. Well, let's hope. Is that so? Is that the one you want to pull? He wants That's to manually. I want to pull. No, I mean, obviously, I mean, let's be honest. So, Otani's in a class by yeah. itself. Of course. Mm-hmm. But if not, definitely Florial. Mm-hmm. Right. Definitely Florial. But you know, and what's great about we talked about the young guys. You know, I was at a party last night. Panini threw a pre-draft party at the NBA Players Association's office. Now this was some party. It was a lot of fun. You I walk, saw the picture. I saw the picture. You Can you pull your phone up and show that picture to the camera? I, because the uh, we, we I, oh okay, your I, phone's. My right. phone's we'll, I put my we'll phone have away. to post this then. We'll post this, yeah. Go to I, at Red Felt Breaks on Twitter, and I'm sure Instagram. Uh, Instagram, it's uh, on. Instagram, okay. And on Twitter, you can go to um, Black Jaded Wolf for Sharon, and she'll have it as well. We'll make sure that everybody post posts it on yeah. their social media so, just but, yeah. to see this picture of you at the Panini you can see party. How tall they are. Yeah. So what was cool last night? They had five. You know, potential first-round picks. You had Michael Porter Jr. You had Dante DiVincenzo. I'll get to that story the in a second. The big ragu. The big ragu. I got a funny story. You're going to like it. Then they had Chandler Hutchinson, who, smart kid. 
smart kid. Stayed four years, and when asked about what is the, the biggest thing for the jump is the mental toughness. Right. Talked sure. about, you know, this is, this is a kid you want on your team because, like, he's not just some, like, guy who can right. all day long. You know, he, then you had. Drop to the Knicks. Hutchinson? No, oh, he's the late first round pick. Oh, he's late. Oh. No, but uh, Trey Young, who was sharp. I mean, he wore a jacket. I saw that. If I was 40, 60 pounds heavy, I would have ripped it off of him because we're about the same size. <laughs> so now And was... then, then Mo Bamba. Now, to talk about the young guys and cards. So there was, a, there was someone doing some breaks there, and they had the guys opening the packs and talking about the cards during the break. Wow. And Mo Bamba had so much fun. He was asking trivia questions about these basketball players. Oh. That's Personally, I was worried watching it. him hold the cards because he was moving his hands a little <laughs> oh, too quick. Oh, got it. And we're talking about $1,100 box product here at National wow. Treasures. Yeah, okay. oh, wow. But these guys got into it. It was great. You know, they had a whole four. They brought one at a time. They talked about him. They asked the audience to ask questions. Of course, I went over to the host. I said, listen, you need someone to ask a question. You can call on me. When Dante DiVincenzo came out second, no one raised their hand. She, I go, she goes, Greg, I asked, said. Of course you asked the question. Of course. I asked everyone a question. Of I course. I said, so how does it feel to have broken all those hearts of Michigan fans everywhere? Oh. Uh, I looked at him. I, you always have to go to wait, Michigan. But, yeah, that's why I had to bring up the story for you. But, always. And so then always. We were talking, and I said, you know, does that mean when you sign your first NBA contract, you reimburse me into my flight for San Antonio? The kid was red as a tomato. <laughs> but and then Big the host, ragu. the host made a like a, a a joke, and I said, "Don't worry." It was like watching Michael Jordan kill your team. So anything about teasing it, like it worked out well. But we had he when I shook his hand and took his picture, he was still laughing. Oh. Still That's, laughing. Now they have all signed deals with Panini, or was this just a party for them? For to them come to have been out? there last night, they signed deals because when it, what, anyone who was a guest of Panini, which I happened to have been. People are noticing red felt breaks. You should too. And where's the invite for us? Where, how well, I, I was. I, I had nothing I, I, I to didn't do get last it, night. I didn't get it through. I had someone else invite me because of red felt breaks. Uh, well, I'm, I'm the host of red felt breaks now, so I should were a be dealer. like I it should was a be. Dealer. I yes. should be included. <laughs> yes. And next, so next year, next year we will be. You know, oh, next year I'm not doing this with you. Next year. Oh, oh no. Okay. I was gonna say I want to <laughs> be broadcasting live from it. All right, then I'll be there with you. Yes. Okay. But um. I did ask Mo Bamba if he would be okay with the Knicks trading an asset to trade up for him. And Harlem boy, so of course. Oh. As hey, I walked in, I got an ESPN crossed. alert. The, fingers crossed. Got an ESPN alert. The Knicks are considering moving up to get Bamba. Yeah, let's see what happens. But I you talked about so. Mo Bamba opening up the cards. You talked That's about good. Mo Bamba opening up and asking trivia questions. Let's go. Let's get into some All of right. these cards. Sharon, where do you think we should go first? I think we should try the silver pack first, no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You know All what? Right. Uh -oh. So, all right, so we're going to do a one lot of piece. Packs. Okay. We'll, uh, you know, we'll open That's, all together and okay. then, you know. That sounds good to me. So, uh, uh, Greg, you can go first. Or actually, what? ladies first. We'll have, we'll, let Sharon go first. So, what do we have here? Anything? I'm, I'm like Sanchez, trying to do so delicate. Ozzie Smith, Buster Posey, Matt Olson. Don what? Not the autograph. Not the autograph. Not the autograph. I got, I got, you know, Travis Shaw, Jose Ramirez, Will Clark. Now, back in 1987, the Will Clark Flair rookie was hot as a pistol. It was a blue card. Now, I don't think it's, I don't think you could paint your floors with it. <laughs> Anything good? Uh, Justin Upton of the Angels, Nick Williams of the Phillies, a rookie oh, he card. Blue card. Blue card. Ooh. Uh, Whit Merrifield, second baseman of the Royals, and Tyler Mo Molly. Oh, yeah. Molly. Okay, okay, this is nice. This is out of number 75. Mm -hmm. You see, I mean, it's hard They're to see on camera. Well, you could probably see, like, you see how it's like a rainbow shimmer refractor? This is hard to pull. Yep. Ooh. Now, is that the blue wave, or is that just the blue? That's the blue wave. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's cool. That's cool. It's not perfectly centering, but we talked to Jeremy rookie, about that last yeah. week. It's still a rookie card, which in tops, they don't have prospects. You've had to have. Did I give you another pack? Lou? I did not. I'll take the. And if and I get the Matting, if I get the Mattingly autograph, I keep it. You Whoever win. opens the card keeps it. Hey, put, why don't you put those over there so All we right. don't? Um, sure. Can we change that that statement? <laughs> Can we change? You that got a Mattingly statement? autograph? No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, I got a green in my pack. I'm waiting. Oh. It's not my turn. George Brett, you got some. I have George Brett. I have actually a Clemente nice. Roberto That's Clemente. That's a very nice, nice. card. Yeah, aren't nice they all design. refractors though? Yep, they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got a Sandy Alcantara rookie, Chris Sale, mm -hmm. Anthony Banda rookie, and then oh, it's a brave. Oh, brave. It's a brave. It's a brave. We'll go to the top. We're gonna we'll squeeze it. Watch. I'm not looking at the back. I'm gonna squeeze it out. Nope. It's a pitcher. It's a pitcher. It's not anyone we were. Oh, Sean Newcomb. 
Is it Chuck? AJ Mint the rookie. Oh, okay. And it's numbered to 99. Still, okay. it's a color, it's a rookie. Yeah. That's no, okay. Nothing here. This is actually a disappointing pack because we have Robinson Cano, which is a nice card. Okay. Trey Turner, Good. a double of Justin Upton, and a double of Nick Williams' rookie card. You know, there's a lot of people. Phillies. You yeah. say double, but you know, we're going to turn around and we're going to put these out there because a lot of people are completing these sets. The sets yeah. We're right. not completing the sets. Right, of course. So we, we, we're in a good position. Sharon sorts the important stuff. Ooh, ooh, I got a gold. Uh -oh. I got a gold. Oh, that's a good one. Gold's number to 50, right? Yep. yep. All right, we're gonna, this is what we're going to do. We're going to protect it, and we're going to save the gold for later. Okay. Like we do with the redemptions. Lou, you haven't been with us early on. When we get a redemption card, okay. we save it. Because we don't know. You know what? Because we, we know we got something good, but we don't know what it is, and we want to save it for the end so we could, okay. you know. Because sometimes it can be deflating. This won't be deflating. But if it's, you know, it's Otani, I'm flipping them, you sure. know. I'm running through the windows. Well, this, this is actually cool what I had the first card when I opened up my most recent pack. Because if you look at my show notes, there's a Chipper Jones card. I don't know if anybody can really see that. But there's a Chipper Jones card on here. And now I have the Chipper Jones you know card in my hand. Is. You know what the funny thing about Chipper Jones is? He and Will Clark, who we've gotten, they didn't play in the league in 83, which is even better. That is right. So that's, like that, that's kind of cool. Oz, the Wizard of Oz, like you mentioned. Sharon's got a green. I got a green. Sharon's got a green, folks. I have a blue. Does Nick Williams over here for any reason or just because? Um... Tyler Maley. Ooh, we're collecting Tyler <laughs> Maley. All you Tyler Maley uh, fans out there, reach out the, the like Black Jaded Wolf. Austin Hayes. Rookie. Is Nick Williams anywhere? You just yeah, didn't... rookie. Yeah, no, because you have rookie here, there. So, All I'm right. Sure. And so I have Chipper Jones, mm -hmm. Paul Blackburn, a nice Kyle Schwarber card. And a blue. And a blue. Ooh. Jan Mancata of Ooh. the Chicago Is that White a, Sox. It's not an RC card, but it's still color. Yep. All right. We should get the big Kaluna in here to open a pack. If this we can find is them. fun. <laughs> All righty. So right? Isn't this fun? We, I mean, I, this, I've gotten to the point where I buy stuff and I don't, I used to open it right, right away. Of course. Now I have stuff sitting for like, you know, a slow day. Oh, believe me. I, I know. She, I used to call her. I'd, I'd stay up all night opening stuff. I still have my box. Sometimes one o'clock, like text me. <laughs> I, I, I still have a Bowman box from the first case I got saving. It's a oh. when I'm desperate. Now that the Otani Super Fract has been found. I know, no, no. I think I have no, something interesting in my card. Okay. Stack. Wait your turn. Okay. I Ladies first. I know. Okay. I know. Bregman, Nolan Ryan. Oh, well, then I, there goes that. Oh, I got an autograph. Will oh. Clark. Will Clark. Wow, the thrill. Will the thrill. Probably one of the prettiest swings in all of baseball history, the way he used to and finish this is his with top his own. Another guy that injuries did in. In, in, the, yeah. in. in the vein of my Donnie Baseball. Mm -hmm. Donnie, number to 99. He was, he was one of go. the most feared sluggers in all of baseball that... NLCS series against the Cubs where he was a one-man wrecking crew, won the MVP, just absolutely demolished Greg Maddox in game one. He had a, yep. two, he had a big home run and not he had a, a grand slam. Not a lot of people can say that. No, not a lot I'll of people can say I'll let you go first because I got something I want to talk okay. about. Okay. The, what, what I thought was good is really not that good. So oh, we, have, okay. we have a Cubs card, Victor Caratini, A.J. Minter, Alex Bregman, and another Nolan no, Ryan. No, no. I thought okay. Nolan Ryan was going to be no, more but I, special. I, I, I pulled um, – it's a base – but it's a Shoei Otani rookie. Oh, so that's oh. how we got an Otani rookie. There you go. There's an Otani rookie. Very nice. I know there's a guy out in the bar that would love to have it, but we're not going to let him. Now, you know, I find it funny that there's a Shoei Otani card, yet, and I understand he's known for pitching, but he's also known for hitting. Did they, and I think we may have discussed this with the, the, the Topps representative. With Jeremy last with week. With Jeremy last week. You know, that did they do cards of him hitting and cards of him I pitching? I think in the Series 1. Was the one that he was in a not, like in the hitting position? Got it. So okay. series two, they yeah, did but they'll a, also do you know variations okay. that are you know. Yeah. So they'll be both. So there is a photo variation on that, like he's standing in the batting cage. That's the got it rare one. But you know, it also they also thought he was going to be a pitcher before a hitter when he came up. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, you go, ladies first. Indian Beltre, Tyler Wade, Charlie Blackman, Moncada. I got a, 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 a lot of duplicates, Bregman, Minter, Karani, and Merrifield. That's amazing that so her, <laughs> her card stack is almost identical. Wow. I have future Hall of Famer Yadier Molina, future Hall of Famer Adrian Beltre, mm -hmm. Tyler Wade, and Charlie Blackman. Wow, they almost... So if we were at a poker table, we would have, or we would have had like a, an identical full hand house, almost. Full house. Right, exactly. Unless we're bluffing one. Sure. Okay, Let's see no here. color, but... 
I got a gold. A gold. Wait, wait, got that trade. All right. Trade. Let's see. Put it together. A separate pile. All right. Separate pile. Okay. Put it on top of mine. Okay. This, this is great. And again, we're opening up the 2018 Top Series 2 Silver Packs, mm -hmm. which are tough to get, and you have to do some special stuff in order to acquire them. You know, them. we've been talking about creating like a fantasy game using baseball cards, sort of like in the Stratomatic thing. You know, this should be the... Yeah. We'd, we'd all have the same team if we did that. I know, right. with those cards. We'd beat, we wouldn't beat anyone. We'd beat each other. <laughs> Just a uh, Chance Cisco rookie card in here. I got a Chance yeah, Cisco autograph. Good. Yeah, Josh recently. Donaldson, Tyler Molly, and uh, Michael Conforto. Right. Okay. We have two packs left, so I'm going to... You can do both yeah, of them. Go ahead. Uh, this is the pile with the gold. All right, I got a blue in here. I'm excited. Ah. What do we have here? Uh, New York's own Daryl Strawberry. His rookie card was the 1983 Topps Trader was his first card. Now, how come they wouldn't use the old rookie card picture? Because the old rookie card picture, he has a black bat. He's got the blue Mets jersey. But look how young he is in that oh, picture. I, I understand that, but I just, I, I, if I was a, uh, me That's being true. a collector, I want the old picture of him. That's in the true. new in the new car. Wow, we got another AJ Minter color. We're really wow. rolling in these same guys, <laughs> rolling in them. Let's just hope those gold are Otani's then, since not Minter. <laughs> oh, so you haven't looked at the gold yet? Oh, we're saving them. Oh. Oh. Look, we're not looking at the gold just yet. Okay, I got that, so excited I didn't even notice. Any, oh, we got another color. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're blue. gonna do it at the end. Okay, if we can, gold and good, gold or better colors. We got it. it. Sounds good to me. Right. Oh, okay, Nolan Ryan fan? Oh, God, of course. Very nice. So now we have a bunch of mega. We have five regular bone. Yeah. This is the base set. Right. Okay. So you're really buying these. How it's done. The bone and mega. I think you should let Sharon yep. open a couple you because you have to check your microphone because there's a couple oh. of technical issues going on. So the microphone we're going to have, again. <laughs> of course. See? I don't know. I, I I think somebody before the show got into your head and. Oh, no. Not at all. I didn't touch my microphone. Better? I, uh, is it working now? We'll talk to the guys in the truck. Guys, is his microphone better? Still working? Not working? Let me talk. Okay, they're going to come down and give you a different mic. So what we'll do okay. is we'll uh, we'll have uh, Sharon open well, some let's packs and explain. Well, open the regular bowman. You open two and then... Yeah. And Greg, just scream as loud as you can, and one of these microphones <laughs> will pick you up. <laughs> one of the microphones will pick you up. <laughs> or if you want, we could put the microphone in the middle of both of you, and then we could talk. So let's see what we have here. So we're opening up the Bowman yeah. Mega so Box. Me While we're doing that, so the Mega Box, basically, has four regular packs. Right. And then two of this mega, mega packs. Okay. So the mega packs are the rare one, kind of like the silver. Right. Oh, okay. So these Got are it. the ones that have the rare stuff. Really. Oh, okay. Great. So most of the regular I have just base cards, you okay. know. So sure. that's why Greg is giving that for us to open. Oh, <laughs> sure. He's giving us all the yeah. boring stuff. And I love, I love Bowman cards. I know. I you could open that. <laughs> Like, this is what happens when you do live television, folks. Things just break, and you end up, uh, you know. Gotta go. Keep going, though. Yeah, exactly. So there we go. Let's okay, see. Okay, let's see. Anything good? I want to check this pack yeah. and see what you got. Got an Aussie Albies paper, Bowman. There you go. That's a nice mm -hmm. card. Vladimir Guerrero paper. Glaber Torres paper. That's a pretty good, um, actually, rookie pile so far. Tyler O'Neill came up batting very well. These are nice. These are. The, I'll tell you what. The I remember when Bowman first started up their cards again, mm -hmm. and the cards were almost too big to fit in the plastic. Yes, nineteen. Remember, remember that. Back in it was like eighty-eight Bowman. They were they yeah. were the oversized like the original Bowman cards from Welcome the fifties. Welcome back, Greg. Welcome Woo! back, Greg. You know it's funny. You you always see them. Please stand by for technical difficulties. Sure, That's what absolutely. It you know, you're watching Sports Center and the phone line disconnects. I feel kind of honored that it happened to me. I feel like that's. Yep. And what we did was clean up. Okay. Yes. Now right. Greg is ready for the mega bow. All righty, let's All right. do this. And Luke can do the regular yep. Bowman. Sure. All right. Open up some regular Bowman. We're gonna fly through these. Are there anything special in these packs that I should be on the look for? Autographs. Oh, you could get autographs. You okay. could get all the good stuff. So all it's the just good harder stuff too. To, harder yeah, it's just harder. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. All right. We got Jaron Kendall, Dodgers mm -hmm. first round pick out of Vanderbilt. I'm a bullish guy on this guy, maybe for personal reasons, but 
JP Crawford, Nick Solak, Taylor oh. Clark. Oh no, if you got okay. something, no, 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 we don't hold back. Is that Shoei Otani? Yep, yes, Otani base. That's our gift to you. Oh, thank you. To add to oh, your collection person. with the Don Drysdale. Yes. Autograph card. Yes. I'm not making fun of Drysdale at all. I will definitely Growing take up that. working oh, in card stores, we used to do a lot of Brooklyn Dodger shows, and people used to come out to the droves back in the 90s to get Dodger stuff autographs. All right, we got a purple card in this pack. Nice. So we got, I mean, these are all rookies and prospects, by the way, in, sure. the, in the mega box. So we got Justin Williams, Helio Ramos, huge, huge prospect in the Giants. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel Johnson, not familiar with. Corey Ray. And then we got a purple. It's an AJ Bra Braves. I'm going to say Luis Go. Oh, yeah. Tuki Toussaint. Toussaint yeah. Put that here because it's color. Mm -hmm. Now, I also have a uh, Bowman Chrome. First Bowman, uh, Jake Kalish of the yep. Royals. Rookie Royals. first card. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Gary Sanchez was a nice card. Buster Posey, Rugnet Odor, Corey mm -hmm. Kluber, uh, Colby Allard. Quentin he Holmes. actually had a good week last week in the minors. Yeah. So. All right, we got a. We got a really off-center J.P. Crawford purple, number to 150, insert. Corey Ray, ooh, Ozzy Albies. Um, rookie, rookie of the Year candidate. Rookie card. of the Year candidate, insert, which mm -hmm. is rather true, potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, who else is up there right now? I mean, Soto could give him a run for his money. I think Soto actually might sneak in. We'll sneak in. Walker Bueller, too. That's true. Or but he's kind of in the DL, no? No, Bueller's not on the DL. Oh, I thought he here's, did. Here's a Walker Bueller card as we're talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Him. All right, we got in this box, we got Jojo Romero, Cody, Co a bunch of first guys. Jojo Romero. He looks old to have a first Bowman card. No, oh, he's only, he's young. Just Maybe out of it's college. The mustache. It's the mustache. <laughs> 107th overall pick from Orchard, Oxnard, California. Two of my favorite words, Oxnard and Oxnard, California. California. Michael Chavez, Yadier. Alvarez, Austin Beck, another hot prospect. Beck on the A's. People seem to like him. All right, moving on. Scott Kingery. Pretty solid. He could end yes. up being rookie of the year. There's still yep. four three and a half months left. Anything's possible. Trevor Rogers. Blackjack Flaherty. He was he's, he, great. he's got like good Flaherty. stuff. Mm -hmm. Fernando Tatis, one of the most talked about prospects in all of baseball. Sure. Yep. And then Mackenzie Gore. It's amazing that guys named Vlad Guerrero Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr., you know, all of these guys. Yeah, but didn't Vlad just get elected to the Hall of Fame? He did. Yeah. But Fernando Tatis is not getting to the Hall of Fame. No, 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 no. 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 But He'll when, be better than his father. But when you see Dante Bichette, Craig Biggio, and their kids now are mm. getting, Bo you know. Bichette. Yeah. yeah. You know, I Which mean, Biggio kid is good? Um, Kavan, the one in Blue Jays, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Blue Jays have all of them. Yep. Nepotism, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, sure. So no, the first kid of most of those kids, like uh, Bijou's first, uh, Bichette's first kid, mm -hmm. was a bus. He was Yankees like a Yankee had him, Dante. Right? Yep. No, no, Dante yeah. was his. Yeah, was Dante. it Dante Jr.? Yeah, yeah that Dante one Bichette was the Jr. bus. He was a Yankee. Yep. Yeah. And then there's another one. Um, Bo on the yeah. Toronto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's another one, Jack yeah. Flaherty. The key to the Sunny Gray tree, James Caprellian. Yep. And Dustin Fowler. I like Dustin Fowler. Oh, he's playing are, well. Are you disappointed so far? Or are you, um, no. No, they're not bad. No. Okay. I mean, I'm not really... I have zero expectations. The thing I've learned is expectations lead to resentments. My good friend Kevin Campion will tell you that all the time. These are like more fun that, you know, sure. you're, you're learning more about the future kids. These are future kids. Like, these you know, are, these are of, future kids. Mm -hmm. In this pack, we got, yeah. you know, three guys that it's their first card. Kyle Cody, Michael Mercado, and Mer... Mirandi Go Gonzalez. You won't hear for some of these guys. Like, to give an example, Mercandi is 22. Mercado is born in 99, April 15th of 99. So he's wow. 19 years old. 19. He is a pitcher for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is actually 40th one of my overall season. pick. Tampa Bay Buccaneers or Tampa Bay Rays? Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, I was about to say, for a second there, I was like, wait a minute, is that a this minor guy, league team? I, or is that the pro football team? This guy's team? actually won my sleeper. It's Neil Diaz from the Dodgers. That's a nice looking card. It's not. A, it's an insert card. He's very young, so we'll see. Okay. In a couple of years. Where is he right now? Is he in single A, double A? I think a? he's in single A. Single A. Mm -hmm. Another guy that you know is getting a lot. Of, was getting a lot of playing time. Harrison Bader. We got a nice purple yeah. rookie of the year. That's a nice insert. card. That's a nice card. The next show, Otani, Brendan McKay. Who was, who's actually having a good minor league year? Having a good minor league year. We're very bullish on Brendan McKay. Bullish on him. It doesn't him. help it. that we. It helps that we may have the super fractor uh, <laughs> in the same product, the one of one autograph. But that's besides the point. Another Ozzy Albies, Chris Rodriguez, and the. What's when are the Yankees going to call up Justice Sheffield? 
When are the Yankees oh. going to call up Justice Sheffield? Because their pitching is what's holding them back. Mm, maybe uh, he's just not ready. I think if he I, was I, ready, he'd be here. Yeah, but Herman and uh, the other kid just pitched shutout games, so <laughs> you know, it's hard to say. Right, right. <laughs> you know, of course, holding, but you, you know, know what I mean. Mm-hmm. All, right, All right, we got a green card. Uh, we're we're, we're ripping pack. through these packs tonight. Yeah, we got, but we still got, you know, we'll slow down then. We, you know. Oh, no, we're good. DJ Hall, Ryan Valade, uh, Al, Adbert Azale, the Cubs' number one prospect, out for the year. With, I don't think it's Tommy John. No, but it, it's something serious. Though. Something serious. Eight, eight, eight weeks? No. Eight, no, eight, he's no. out for the year. Eight weeks. Oh, eight months. I mean, eight, eight months. months. Yeah, eight months. You know, he's a... Uh, he's, I didn't realize he was that old. Oh, is he? He's 23 years old. Oh, is that one of those old. thoracic injuries? That's I'm not, something you know, that you see. Off the top of my head, lately. I don't remember. Ooh. Uh-oh. He likes this kid. I, you know, I like this kid a lot better than I like my Green George, Jorge Mateo, another yeah. guy from the Sunny Gray trade. Yep. Never really made it with the Yankees, but maybe with the A's. Christian, I don't know how to pronounce it. Pache, Pache, Pache. I call it Pache. <laughs> Pache, I don't oh, know. I mean, we'll call <laughs> anyway, you know, he is a. We'll learn it when he becomes 19 big. year old. Right. Uh, outfielder, outfielder for the Braves. Braves. International signing from Santo Domingo in the Dom- Dominican Republic. To me, the Braves represent like the Yankees of uh, last year. They're ahead of time. I think they're still two years away, but. They, they have some good yeah, pitching there between yeah. uh, Soroka, Max Fried, Colby right. Allard, Luis Gohara. You know, you know Minter's going to be a great closer. It was something that I posed on Twitter not too long ago, just watching the Braves play against the Mets and then just mm-hmm. keeping tabs on the Braves. And you can find me on Twitter, at Lou underscore Pellegrino. Um, I asked the question, are the Braves the best team and do they set the standard at developing prospects? And I can't think of an organization. And look, we understand the Yankees have a good farm system as I mean, well. The Cubs have been pretty good lately, the too. The Cubs have been good because yeah. of Theo and the things that they've brought in. You know, they had those years of losing. But for me, it's like the Braves still do it the Bobby Cox way from the lowest affiliate of baseball in the minors mm-hmm. to the highest. Up and to Gwinnett, the AAA affiliate. That I would actually say, you know what, if you took a guy out of rookie ball and put him on the major league team, he would be able to swim. Because they just develop the guys the I'll same give you way that. at every I'll level. give you that because they've done it historically for so long. Right. I think another team like that is St. Louis Cardinals, too. Yep. And the Astros, Astros, Astros are starting to get there, yep. too. But that's also Jeff Luno, you know, who's got the yeah, Cardinal way. But you know him. what it is also? It's also being bad and getting these top yeah, picks and getting right. Of course. Yeah. And it's to also me, that's the scouting. Astros. Right. Yeah. They also have good, it's also their scouting. But you have to yeah. develop them because if you look over the years, the Mets have drafted high, the Tigers have drafted high, and some of these guys okay. just the don't Mets develop. Is, well, you want to look at the Astros. They, they sure. had three number one picks in a row. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know who the first one was? Oh, God. Mark, no, was it Mark Appel? He was the middle one. He's out of baseball. But Brady right. Aiken. Where's Brady Ooh, Aiken? Right, okay. Yeah, Where's Brady true. Aiken? And the Absolutely. last one was Bregman, right? Wasn't Bregman the first yeah. pick overall? Yeah. Wasn't Brian Bullinger another one of those guys? The Pirates drafted him, and he never Brian made Brian Taylor. It. Remember Brian Taylor? Oh, and he threw oh, his up. Well, yeah, he yeah. messed his shoulder up in, in a, a bar, bar fight. fight. Yep. <laughs> I, I actually had a Brian Taylor baseball card. Well, that, those were hot at that time. Right? Yeah, right before he got hurt. Yep. What was a classic? Was that the company that? I, I think I, you're right. I think it was classic. Yeah, classic used to put out these cards, mm-hmm. and I had one of those with yeah. The, yeah. yeah. So we have a, we have a you know Sharon was talking about Dustin Fowler, so we got a purple Dustin Fowler for That's you. That's a nice card. And then you know one of the the number two pick from last year's draft, mm-hmm. Hunter Green on the Reds. Yeah. That's He's a nice one card. of the Chase cards in this set. It's mm-hmm. a very nice card. Yeah. Hopefully he. Turns out to be a good pitcher. Yeah, he now, hasn't done much yet this year. So are, you guar- are you guaranteed an autograph? No. In the- no, 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 no. The thing about this is, like, because we got them secondhand, they're actually $15 okay. in the stores, because I can see it on the box. We paid almost triple that. Got it. Secondhand, so you, there's no way to know, like, in a case. That's the only problem. Oh, uh, okay. We're, ba- we're striking out today, but it doesn't mean that there's not something left. So in this pack, we got some new guys. We were talking about Kobe Allard. I think Corbin Burns is someone that could come up soon for the Brewers because, I mean, that pitching staff, I mean, right. I, and one of my teams, you're going to laugh, it's a 16-team mixed league. I have on my active roster, I brought him up, is Freddie Peralta, uh, Junior Guerra, and Brent Suter. 
Oh, wow. Mm, so, I mean, nice trifecta. Yeah. well, I wouldn't go that far, but we'll Peralta, <laughs> I could see Peralta having staying power, but this guy, if he's good, you know, mm. Suter or Guerra are gone. Well, right. they said they might be buyers during the trade deadline. They should, so they they should have been be... buyers before the, oh. well, what are they doing with Domingo Santana? They're not even playing. The guy was ridiculous last well, year. No. Not even playing him. It makes no sense. Mm. But I also think that some of these teams, you know, have these guys up to trade them, like, they're showcasing. Showcasing, yeah. yeah. Although, I don't know why. Um, I guess you don't have to showcase Santana, but you diminish his value by not playing yeah. him. Joe Adele last year's number one, wasn't he? No, number, no, number two or three. Number three, I think. Number one pick was Royce number Lewis. Number ten, actually. Ten, but he's one of the hotter prospects from yep. that set. The, we needed a Med Rosario card popping out. Is the Met fan, we have the lone Met fan on this panel here. Planet, planet. Uh, you're, you're a Met fan. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about the match, you see the cover of the post today? I did not. About have, Jacob, the, they, they shouldn't trade Jacob DeGrom. I couldn't disagree with you more. You could get... No joke. The Yankees, in my opinion, would give you Clint Frazier, another good player, and two or three of their best pitchers, if not and more. The Mets have nothing. Well, what I heard coming here was Andujar. That's the name I'll I'm give, hearing too okay. on the block. Yeah. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll give you Andujar for the Grom. You know what? Andujar, oh. Sheffield, and another prospect. I don't want Florial to be thrown in, but if that's what it needs to I'll get give him, done, I'll give him Clint Frazier tomorrow. I just don't think. Would Met you give fans. Andujar? Florial and just a Sheffield. I didn't say Florial. Andrew oh, no, Hart, Sheffield, were, and and Frazier. Frazier. I know they want to give Frazier, but the Mets don't want Frazier. I just don't know how Met fans would react if they traded arguably their best. They pitcher. should be horrible oh. for longer. Oh. The Mets started off no, eleven but and those one. three guys are really now. good. The oh, Mets are playing mm -hmm. under thirty. Uh, are playing under three thirty three oh, balls since then. You're, you're, you're preaching to the <laughs> choir on that. Believe me, I know yeah, all of that. But it's just is this kid going to be good? Andres Jimenez, Jimenez. Yeah. Well, you should know. <laughs> yeah, you know. He's wearing a Met uniform. Probably not. <laughs> because he probably won't be developed Well, we properly. should find the doctors for the Mets. Like, they know. Well, they got rid of the guy who was uh, the big problem uh, last year, whatever his name. I can't even I think it was Ray Ramirez. Uh, oh, we're go oh here we go. Position. Finally, we got a Glaber Torres. Okay. We got a Glaber. I take him in a Met uniform. Oh, he's yeah, one I, guy. I, not I, I, I would want Syndergaard and <laughs> That's not going to and I, I don't know if it gets it done because Syndergaard's health is becoming quite a concern. I'm afraid Syndergaard's arm, so. Right. Yeah. We got Quentin Holmes. We got another Jack Flaherty oh, purple. We're doing, we're doing well with the Jack Flaherty purples. Anyone needs Jack Flaherty purple, you know where to find us. <laughs> All right, we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Almost eight. There. Almost there. We're going to pull a floor there. We're, we're going to pull something, and then we're going to look at the gold. Oh, we haven't looked at the gold yeah, yet. That's right. Yeah. We, this I want to look at the gold and see what it is. And just I see. know. Right? No, oh, we got a green. Finally, something new. Okay. Dylan Cozens. Florial. Eloy Jimenez. <laughs> Kobe Allard and JB Bukowskis. I'm All just right. happy I got a, uh, sh for doing this show, I got a show I owe Tony. Oh, wow. Who's Bryce that? Wilson. I've never heard of him. It's first card, though. How do we know? It, isn't it there? No, I don't no, know. It's not. 109th pick in the 2016 draft. Kids only 19 years old. Wow. Now where? No, 20. 20 years old. In the where do these cards gain their value from? Is obviously if they make the majors and they have successful careers. So these will actually count towards their first card. Most obviously, of, yeah. Most yes. of these are holds. Yeah, a lot of these are holds. You know, like if you want, you be, they so become it's like buying somebody. a cheap stock and then just seeing if it, it yeah. raises. Mm -hmm. Or grows, I should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, in this pack, the only thing we got is Zach Littell. You especially, learn so much on red felt breaks. You yeah, really especially do. the ones that says first. I mean, look at all these notes. Moment. I took, I read everything this week that I possibly. That's could why we on love you, Lou, and cards. that's why. Good job. That's why uh, we signed you to that uh, contract. That, that lucrative yeah, deal. Yeah, like two, lucrative two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got an autograph in a oh. Yankee uniform. Oh, uh -oh. my God. I, I'm not looking at. I'm not looking at it till the end. We got. Let, we're let's let's save. L'Oreal. Let's save it. Keep, uh, anyone that was considering tuning out, now you have to stay. Now you have to stay. Now, now you just can't leave. That is what we call a tease in the business. <laughs> how, about, how about Vlad Guerrero Jr.? Uh, that's, that's a solid card. I know he got hurt. He had, I think, a heel issue. The Toronto Blue Jays fans were crying Let's put some for this value guy to this. come up. Yeah. It's at least $30, $20, $20. $30. That's a $30 really? card already. I huh? didn't know that. I have, you have more of those than from what I've given you. you buy two pizzas check, with I that. Yeah, I think so. How many pretzels would that buy at the bar over Two. here? Two pretzels? Two, maybe. All right, so let's go see if they'll take it as currency after the show. <laughs> Did you <laughs> okay. put him in a corner and rub a towel? I know, right? Ah, see, I don't want this kid looking at that face when he's shooting those we just, you just, We just gave you some props, oh, and I'm now kidding. you just... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would keep the Vlad Jr. card. Are you kidding? 
And especially after you told me that it's 20, 30 bucks in value, that means it's probably going to triple by the time he gets to the majors and hits oh. 10 home runs his first, like, two weeks. Uh, okay. I got a proposal today. Oh, can you buy this card for 3500 Vladimir neighbor? Guerrero Jr. card, right? Right. Kyle Cody but He said, Purple? I wanted to buy it back in a week, in, in a month. I'm like, no. <laughs> so... He so someone wanted to sell you a card for thirty five hundred. They wanted to pawn it, basically, and then so. essentially buy it back at same value. Well, no, a little bit more, basically. A little bit more, okay. Wow. Pawn. So, they yeah. She was a pawn shop. So I said I agreed on a date, and we'll see from then. Wow, <laughs> I would love to see your collection. Would love to help. Uh, is it just like, you know? I'm to the national. You don't have the security clearance. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's above your pay grade. Is it like it's the like, same ability? It's like Pee Wee Herman when he got, when he goes to like get his bike out. He has like the little code that he got and it yes. you know opens up. Okay, got it. I totally get it. We now. got another green card. It's a White Sox, so we can look at it now. Eloy Jimenez. Oh, that's, good. that's a good card. That's good. I forgot Eloy was in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, made that comment. Mackenzie Gore, good young pitcher. I want to see the gold card and the autograph. That's oh, what that's I'm right. looking exactly. for. Exactly. We're gonna go to commercial break before we do it. Like an, like any good cliffhanger. Of course. Like you come back. Not, not on this one. <laughs> He's kidding. We got some good names in this I pack. Mackenzie Gord. I don't know Sean Murphy, but Nick Senzel, one of the very oh, anticipated call-up. Has power. You know, it, when Scooter Gannett gets traded, which is inevitable, he gets the call-up. All right, two packs left. Two packs left. We're and down to the last two outs of the game. No, we have three outs. We have three cards over there. All right. Khalil Lee, Blaine Edeslow, another Ozzy Albies. Greg Deitch... Deichman, Deichman, I don't know. I don't speak well enough on names to know. It's the well, first card, though. Maybe you could pronounce it. Deichman, Deichman? Deichman. Deichman? Yeah, why not? Why not? This kid is actually very good. Yeah, Matt That's Sauer. Fine. That could be the autograph. Well, could be. Could be. Well, t listen, Yankee autographs are always good. We're in New what York. What are you talking about? It's Florio. <laughs> All right, we got a green in this so pack. So here's the last pack. Last pack. Mitch oh. Keller, Daniel Johnson. Met Another back. guy that's going to be, pro like, you probably write, Bruin, you know, the Ruin. Jordan Humphrey. First yeah, right. card. <laughs> yeah, first card. Another, another guy we're going to ruin. The, short the stop. Uh, All right. All right. So here, here we, we go. Roll. So Sharon didn't do her pack, so we're going back to this top silver pack. We got Mookie Betts. Mm -hmm. We got Lucas Sims. The gold. Will Meyer. Mm -hmm. All right. The first gold. Here we go. Oh, Will back Myers to back, Will too? Myers. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm emailing Jeremy and asking him about that. <laughs> <laughs> Will Myers. So now, even, now, even though that it's Will Myers, the fact that it's gold is that special. I mean, obviously, I it's mean, special. I mean, it's number to fifty. Right. Yeah. All right. I mean, if there are people who's collecting sets, you know. Got Here, it. here's the other gold. Okay. We're gonna peel down, folks. Saturday, August 11th, is National Baseball Card Day. If you go to your local store, yeah, bring you get a cards. free pack. You got to bring it in and you get a free pack of cards. Huh. Visit tops.com. Yep. All right, sliding down the gold. Okay. See, Otani. Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Oh, met oh my God, you're Met Juju's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, now. Sorry about that. All right, okay, Another we have... Another Met guy, Dominic We have Smith. Dominic Smith, and we have... Esteban Florio! Yeah! What did wow. Esteban Florio! Wow. Wow. That? Sharon called it! Wow. What did I say? That's, that's the way a show <laughs> That's the way together. to end the show. That's the way a show that's comes together. I called it! Hold she that up. It. Let me see. I want to see yeah. that. Before we get going, let's see. Hold that up. It. That is a beautiful, <laughs> you beautiful didn't hear me. card. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful that's card. That's what I nice said. Nice autograph. And look... She came through. She, you did not. No, it's Lou. It's all you, Lou. I'm going to tell you me. why. We've been we struck out a lot in the past. Oh yeah. Where I did, we did better offline than online. Okay. That's it. That's, they're not here booing. Here we go. They're not booing. Esteban Florio's first real Bowman autograph. He had a Bowman Sterling autograph, which I have also, which we have mm -hmm. also. But this one, and I, I'm going to teach all you fans a little lesson as I step off for one quick second. Oh boy, what's it's going on here? Here we go. No, 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 no. Professional cases. The, oh. we, uh, because of the uniqueness of this and, you know, the centering... Um, we should tag uh, Ultra Pro here. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ultra you, Pro. You, you have to lock that card up and throw away the key. No, we, no. we're going to put it... You know, there's, it, it, it's safer to protect the corners, the edges. Absolutely. We want the near mint autograph. We don't want, we want, we want the we full want the mint. mint. We, want, we don't want gem the, mint. We gem don't mint. want the right. We want the gem mint. We don't want the near mint. Centering looks pretty good on that. Top to bottom. 
Let's see. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. So it's what not, happened now? Is there something? Might not be gradable. It might not be gradable. See, the top is thicker oh. than the bottom part. Okay. You know, like Joe Pesci says in the uh, oh, in Lethal Weapon. Yes. So that's called yes, centering. Yes, yes mm -hmm. of course I do. Now, see, now all the baseball term, the baseball lingo, and the baseball card collecting terms are definitely coming back. I do see that because it's definitely yep. a thicker panel here mm -hmm. than it is on the Even bottom. Even so, that's still a couple hundred dollars. Oh, definitely. But Esteban it's a good Florial card. is. We're gonna a, hold that. We're for definitely while. hold. We're not that, even. We're gonna hold that till it becomes a thousand dollars. I think that should be the mascot of the show. I think we well, should have it on the table. Yeah, let's him to trade to the Mets. Now his career will be done. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. All right. I think that's the perfect way to end it. It's I'm a lot of fun tonight. On. A lot of fun today. Thank it's you. It's a shame the big Kaluna didn't come in. That's he was okay. out of the bar, you know. That's all right. Anyway, we'll be here again next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Be sure to check in here with us. We have Sharon Chung at Black Jaded Wolf on social media, especially Twitter, and at Red Felt Breaks with Greg Bynan. I'm your host, Lou Pellegrino. We will see you next Wednesday. Thanks again.